Hello and welcome back. So last time we modified our enemy controller to enable our enemies to walk around in the scene. But currently they all start in the same way. That's because we set the direction switch to be false by default. And they will all start going to the left. And then they will go to the right once direction switch has been restarted. This is really easy to fix. Basically, we can simply say that this direction switch boolean is a public boolean. And then when the game starts, we don't want to set it to false. So let's remove that line. And now if I save this and back into Unity, you can now see that my invaders enemy controller script has this direction switch toggle here. And basically, I can by default, it's set to false, but I can set it to true. And now you'll see that this pink one will start going to the right. And as you just saw, he does walk to the right. To the right. Also, now we need to give our enemies some kind of help so we can actually kill them with our bullets. So let's go ahead back to our enemy controller and let's get a public int called help or HP, hit points, whatever you want. I'll call it hit points. And we need to make sure that our friendly bullet is tagged friendly bullet, okay, and it is, okay, it doesn't have to be a trigger, but actually we can set it as a trigger. Let's set the friendly bullet to is trigger, and now let's go back to our enemy co controller, and I'm just going to drop down the update the movement and the switch timer method since we won't be needing them now. And I'm going to create a method to check for collision. So let's go ahead and say void on trigger enter collider. And now you can name this how, however you like. I like to say call as in collider. And basically this variable here, here holds all the information of the game object that we're colliding with. And now we want to check if, the, if that game object is in fact the friendly bullet. So let's say if collision.gameObject.tag is equal to, and let me just make sure that I get this right, so it's friendly bullet. I'm just going to copy this name, since the name and the tag are the same in this case. So basically, if the game object that we're colliding is, is the friendly bullet, we want to open up curly brackets and then do some code here. What I want to do when the bullet hits me is, first thing, hit points decrease them by one so the enemy ship takes one damage okay but also we want to create a particle effect so let's go ahead and get a public game object particle effect so now our invaders will have a particle effect here and let me just get the friendly particle effect in here okay I'm just going to instantiate it once it hits me. Inst instantiate particle effect, particle effect at the location transform the position and with your rotation transform that rotate. Whoops, rotation. Hello. Okay. So now we decrease the health, and if our hit points are less than or equal to zero, we want to destroy. And the game object that we want to destroy is the is this game object. So let's go ahead and say game object. And also we want to destroy the bullet that hit us. Because we don't want, want it to destroy the ship and pass through it. That's kind of overpowered. So before we create the particle effect, let's go ahead and again say destroy. But in, instead, in, instead of saying game object. We're going to say collision.gameObject, which is referring to the game object that we are currently colliding with, which is going to be the friendly bullet. Okay, so let's save this. And now we can go back and you can see our invaders now have a health hit points here. We can set this to maybe two for the purple one. Let's say three for the green one and five for the third one. And let's go ahead and check out if this works. 
Yes, it does. You can see I can hit him. Let me just disable, set his speed to zero so he doesn't move. So you can see that it's working properly. You can see it hits him and again, and he explodes. Okay. It also works on the, of course, on all invaders. Except this one has more health. And also you can see he collided with us and he just stopped. He didn't take damage or and we as well didn't take damage. So let's go ahead and fix that. We don't want him to just collide with us without anything happening. Select our player character and attack him as player. And let's go ahead in here and say, let's select our invaders and make sure that the box collider is a trigger. So they can pass through each other. That's okay. And let's go ahead and say, if the game object that we're colliding with is player, now, let me check if our player has health. He doesn't have health yet, so let's go ahead and create a public int HP hit points. So now, we want to decrease the hit points of our player. So let's go ahead and say collision.gameObject.getComponent. We need to get the player character script that component from our player and now that we have that component we want to get the hit points integer and decrease it by one and we also want our health of the health of this chip to decrease by one you don't have to do this but i always found it unfair when i hit an enemy i get damaged he doesn't so in my games i usually make sure that we both get damaged it's kind of fair Okay, now we have health. Now we decrease our health, and let's just check if our health is less than or equal to zero. And if it is, we destroy ourselves. Now we won't be. Ch also, let's create that particle. Why not? Also, we won't be destroying the player in this in this script. We will be destroying him in his script. He will have a check for health. We didn't implement that previously, but let's go ahead and do that now. So now he has health and we can basically do it, let's say in the, hmm, well we can do it in the update method, we can just say if HP is less than or equal to zero, we can just destroy, whoops, destroy game object. We can make this prettier, prettier later, but for now this should work pretty fine. Let's go ahead and check our game. So now if I run and if, oops, I died because my health is zero. I forgot to change the variable here. So let's go ahead and set it to one. So one hit of these guys is going to kill me. And it does, it killed me. And it, de and it decreased the health of Invader 2. You can see his health is now two. And if I stop playing, it's three. So that, that's working perfectly. Okay, so that's going to be it for this lecture. Next time we will be creating a random spawning for these enemies. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then. Konnichiwa.